Hey everyone, welcome back. I'm Thomas and in this video I will show you how to use the new sticky deformer layer in Roomba 1.2. To create this new layer, simply select a part of the character you want to work with. So this part. And then uh, using the contextual menu on the, under the add layer button, select the add sticky deformer option like this. This will create a new layer and this layer will contain the keyframes related to this deformer. So you can create as many layers as you want, uh, one per character or even several for the same character. It's really up to you. Okay, now let's play with this new layer. So the sticky deformer layer offer many different ways to modify the geometry of your character. So you have the grab option, the smooth option, the relax option, delta mesh option. So I will show you first the grab option and then those other options. So for the grab option, the first step is to paint an anchor point to place the grab transform gizmo. Uh, if nothing is done, this gizmo will, uh, will appear right there at the world origin. So here you just need to select and press this anchor icon and then here, I just want to work in the back of my character. So I will place the anchor somewhere, um, somewhere like this here. So the, the transform will, will be placed at the very center of the, the painted area. Uh, and then I will try to add some spikes uh, in the back of my character. So I will just paint one spike here, another one here, and a third one there. And maybe the last one here. So if you choose the right mode here in the sticky deformer layer, uh, wait, and then press the transform option right there, you can see there is a there is a transform uh, in the viewport. And if you move this transform, it will uh, displace and transform the vertices that are influenced by the weights you you just painted. So that's pretty handy. As usual, uh, everything stay. Uh, you can still manipulate the character like this and play the animation like this, and everything stay in shape. So, those weights can be animated. To do so, just change the time in the timeline and then go back there. And you can, for example, remove those spikes by. Um, Let's do this and changing flow like this. And then if I press shift, I will erase um, those weights like this. And as you can see, there is a new key here. And if I play back my animation, you can see that everything appears and is animated and it's still movable and animable like this. So that's pretty handy. It is also possible to use and animate a sphere uh, to deform the geometry. So to do this, simply go back to the sticky deformer and choose the sphere option there. And then if you display the sphere, you can see that I'm able to manipulate the sphere like this. So the sphere can be animated um, I just create a set of key right there and then move the sphere on the top of the body like this and if you look it it follows the, the sphere so that's that's great I can also uh, change the maybe the scale of the sphere. So put a set of key right there and then right there, this will be better looking like this. Here we, here we are, that's that. Uh, a nice feature is also that you can um, mix those two features, so the weight feature and the sphere features together uh, using this sphere and weights option like this. So if you use this mode, and I will show you this display weights, it's maybe 
you can see that the weights are following the sphere here. If I change it to the weights, it's only on the painted areas. And so if you use the combine mode, you can see that the sphere is uh, influenced by, um, well, the deformation is influenced by the sphere and the painted area together. Like this. And I will remove this display weights like this. Aside from the grab mode option, the, the sticky deformer offers also a different uh, operation, uh, as I said before, the smooth option. Uh, so here is the smooth. Uh, on the elbow of this character. Uh, you can also choose to use a relax option to relax the vertices like this. And also uh, a delta mesh option like this. So if you display the weights on this moose. Here we are. To relax and delta mesh. Okay, that's it for today. Thanks for watching and uh, see you next time. Bye.